Hello everyone, and welcome to the Deeply Renegade podcast. My name is Molly, also known as the Deeply Renegade. I'd like to welcome you guys to episode 146. Um, today is um, Saturday, August 27th, 2016, and I'm glad you could join me today. It's um, it's warmer today, so, yeah. <laughs> but, um, what would that be? It's probably, eh, like... The upstairs right now is 85, and out here it's probably 90, so whatever. Summer continues, but it's not really stinking hot, so not too bad. Um, hmm, I hadn't thought about the interesting challenge I was going to have with showing this particular project. So, I am working on a pair of socks. Um, I'm actually using my signature needles, and perhaps this is a decent explanation of what the signature needles are doing right now. Um, they stab. <laughs> like nobody's business. <laughs> so it's been, um, it might be the case where it warrants finding some sort of solution to keep the tips protected somehow because they are quite fierce but um, I managed to get a lot of sock knit this week so um, this is um, when I bought or whatever when I received this yarn I believe I got it as a um, prize for a, a prize in a group um, but when I received it, it was from Chinchilla's 1957. Um, that dyer now runs a business called Chapters 57. Don't know what the significance of 57 is, but that's her thing. Um, and when I was at the grocery store today, some stuff fell off the needles, so no big deal. It isn't too bad to fix, but this is where I am, so I am working away on the gusset. This is for the Dear Sweet Lovable one. Um, I'm calling these the, the Captain America socks because they sort of have a grungy red, white, and blue going on them. Let's see. So, what'd that be? So, they're um, 65 stitch socks, which obviously is a little bit awkward. Um, I decided to do a 3x2 um, rib on these guys, so they're nice and elastic, um, but it makes the counts a little funny. Um, not too funny, just a little bit funny. So it's the case where my instep has the extra stitch. And I am getting there on the gusset I still have a ways to go so I had like 24 plus 3 so I had 27 stitches on each one of these guys and I'm gonna have to bring it down to six, 16 so I still have quite a bit of gusset left to go um, and it seems like my yarn usage isn't too crazy um, it still seems to have quite a lot of the ball, and this is my other ball, which I haven't broken into yet, but, um, and plenty of the black as well, so the black is all the accents, because I'm pretty sure I couldn't get a full pair of socks out of all the yarn I had, because it was the case where they were like one and a quarter ounce skeins, um, and there there's or was it 125 yards something like that it might have been three ounces total of 125 yards but that didn't seem like a whole lot because then that would in total be 250 and i don't think i've ever knit a pair of socks in 250 yards before so um we'll see where i run out i'll transition to the black so it's not like it's a big deal It's like the top-down yarn-saving method. <laughs> it was like, incorporate an extra color of yarn <laughs> in order to use everything. Um, 
So I haven't cast on anything new. Like I said, I was going to cast on the Out of Darkness shawl, and um, I didn't end up getting to the bead store. But some beads are actually heading in the mail for me, so thanks a lot, that's <laughs> Um, so I'll probably hold off and go to the bead store until they arrive, because, eh. Um, I'll have to check and see how many beads that pattern needs. They sort of have a distributed bead thing, so that'll make it a little bit more annoying. But I have, like, sweaters on the mind for some reason. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't make any sense, but... And I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do exactly. And what I ended up pulling out of the stash was this. So this generic looking white wool is actually my um, hand comb Shetland for when I went crazy pants over that back in January or something like that. Somewhere around then. Um, so this is... Um, 10 ounces, um, I ended up having like 6 ounces of waste on this guy, 3 ply, um, I think I have a Mondo skein and a small skein here, um, pretty easily good feel. And um, then I have some of my nest, and to pay no attention to the other skein. Uh, and this is... Um, in what the nesties would like to refer to as cosmic nebula, so it is, or cosmic magpie, so it's a combo spin, three ply as well, of um, nebula and magpie. So I think it's like Falkland and Polworth, maybe? It's an interesting combo. Um, and what I'm thinking of, like I was thinking mini dress, so this is a Caddy Ledbetter pattern um, that I have in the Mother Daughter Nets or Caddy Melville Ledbetter, something like that. But um, it looks like the pattern's ready for Aryan weight, so I'd have to do a lot of modification. And I was trying to guesstimate yarn, and I'm like, you know what, I don't even know. Um, but this guy is probably DK. Um, it didn't turn out as thin as I was hoping for. I was hoping to get sock weight out of it. But I think they're both about the same weight. So I'm thinking actually going for a different sweater design. So I have 8 ounces of this and 10 ounces of this. And probably whatever DK weight yarn is hanging on my stash. Um, my wool mice of DK actually is a pretty good um, color complement to, to this guy. It picks up sort of the um, magentas and blues in this guy. So I'm thinking. Of um, doing a stripey sweater. So, we'll see if I can find it for you guys. Um, because I wasn't thinking ahead, oddly. Shouldn't bake too long. So, um, let's see. I think it's in my queue or favorite, so it shouldn't be too bad. Probably in my queue, actually, because I've been sort of rolling around with this idea for some time. Um, it's a stripey sweater, obviously. Um, let's see if I can quickly get it. Oh, right now my queue has two pages in it. <laughs> so, nothing too crazy. Alright, Delancey cardigan. It calls for a DK weight yarn. This sounds very positive, um, and I haven't bought the pattern yet, but I really like how graphic it is. Um, and I could probably, to a certain extent, modify 
how it is striping to better make use of all of the yarn. But this is Delancey by Alexis Winslow. Isn't she adorable? Um, and we'll get you the you guys the the double shot so that pattern ends up making whatever. It's striping on both sides, so different construction. Um, would I normally think about knitting a mostly white sweater? Probably not, but what is it? Like, I think it'll be really cute. Um, so let's see, am I in the ballpark for amount of yarn? We'll have to think about that a little bit. Um, so this is saying we are let's see, so this is saying twelve thirty to sixteen hundred yards of a DK weight. Um, so now I need to figure out am I close with what I've got here. Um, what should be possible? It turns out that typing in stash can get me to my stash <laughs> <laughs> on the phone. Okay. So my Shetland is 587 yards and my nest is 554 so this is saying I might be a little low I would probably need um, What is it? Another color in order to make that all come together. Um, and there's probably something to do with the ratios of the different ones as well. So that, hmm. So I'm almost at 1200, but I'm not going to be knitting the small size, so. Unless I decide to do all of the borders and things in a different color. Hmm. This isn't turning out very well for me, is it? <laughs> but, will that be? Is there really like any sweater that I can do for whatever, 1100 yards of yarn, or do I? I might just need to incorporate another one. I do basically have like another skein of silver as well in the Little My City case, maybe. Possibly. I'm not sure. What I do know is that, what is it? Like, I think they want to be together. So, that is the puzzle. Or would be the case where I would need to, um, get more um, white Shetland and do something with that. I'm not sure. I might wind up anyways and start and incorporate the Volmice well, DK as part of the striping sequence as well. Or substitute it in somehow. I'm not sure. Because it's so cute. And I think that yarn would be perfect for it, so it's a matter of trying to mitigate the fact that I'll probably need, I don't know, probably closer to 1300 for, excuse me, a sweater. There was also saying there was a modification for a shorter version, but I think I like the longer version. The other thing is it is a bit of a leap of faith, excuse me, because it is, um, a bottom-up sweater, so those are 
always a little bit more of it, more of an adventure. But that's sort of where I'm landing right now. Um, I suppose that I could go for the sure thing because I have two sweater quantities in my stash right now that um, were bought specifically for sweaters. So um, I have my Rolling Rock that I got at DFW Fiber Fest. And then I have another DK sweater thing that I bought. I'll have to look up. It, it's actually, I think it was, I got it for a pullover sweater. Um, um, and that would be Madeline Tosh Twist Decay. So, I, it's not that I don't have options, it just seems like I'm gravitating towards invalid options. <laughs> So I'll have to think a little bit on that one if I want to throw, because I know I have way more of the Wilmysa DK than I would need in order to even, or way more than I would need to make a sweater. So it is an option. Um, but <sighs> now I want to take to make a sweater and actually being able to make the sweater is a challenge. Um, so that's sort of where I'm floating around, um, but I'm thinking that I want to start one now just because of the fact that, um, if I want to be ready for the time of the year when I wear sweaters, that starting one now will make sure that I actually can wear one at the right time, if that makes any sense. Because I feel a little bit bummed, like, this year how I finished my, um, brown jacket out of the Shetland, um, just in time for it to get hot. <laughs> so that's always crazy making when you're like, ah, <laughs> miss that target. Um, oh, so, I'll have to think on it a little bit more, but I might forge ahead bravely. <laughs> I guess the cool thing is it's in one piece, so that would, I think, make the most of the hand-spun yarn. Um, and the white is fairly generic, so I might be able to get away with spinning more of it if I needed more of it, because I'm sure it'll be the case where it's going to ask for, um, what is it, different proportions of things. So I'll have to think on it. A little bit, because I'm sort of itching to wind down some yarn, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but the socks have certainly been exactly what I've wanted to knit lately, because um, I had any Cassie's on this week, and I'm more than halfway done, so that's always exciting when those sorts of things, well, halfway done with the first sock, it's always exciting when that happens. Um, It is a good time. You're like, ah, ribbing delightful. Okay, so next on the agenda is um, spinning. Um, I have been slowly chipping away at it. And I'm now more than halfway done with this braid, which is cool. So, ah, uh, looks like so, um, I managed to basically clean up how I'd put it on the bobbin, and then I watched movies in the dark again. <laughs> so, there went that, but I'm in this, um, really bright and lovely blue right now. Actually, the, the color is totally wrong, but, um, it's really this gorgeous blue, and it's still attached, so we'll leave it there. Um, and heading rather quickly towards the green, I'm going to be in the green fairly soon. Um, so it should be plenty of room to get this all into the bobbin and then I'll, um, well, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might just apply them from the ends and if it turns out I have extra then I can figure something else out from there. Um, shouldn't be too bad. 
Um, and basically I'm just going to be doing M10 plying of those two braids and have this great big massive gradient of joy and happiness. Um, so I'm now at like 1.77 grams. Um, I probably did a little bit more than I had been doing. It seemed like whenever I weighed where I was at on that, um, it just kept on being um, <laughs> 0.4 ounces every single time. So I'm definitely making some good progress. Um, looking forward to um, some more chill spinning time tonight. Um, unless I go all sweater crazy, you never know. Can't predict it. Um, I'm also glad that things are mostly back to normal now, so <sighs> it's always um well, that be it's nice to be back into a groove again because I feel like I had been um traveling so much this summer that it was really putting me off my game. <laughs> makes it harder to deal with. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to chitter chatter about, but nothing is going to mind. I figured it was gonna be a short episode even with my rambling trying to find the appropriate sweater pattern problem. <laughs> and maybe it turns out because my yarn usage is still all wrong, um, that maybe I do need to go back and figure out if the mini dress is actually the right pattern for the yarn, because um, if I'm making it with a significantly lighter yarn, then my yarn usage would be a bit different. It might be a little bit more workable that way. We shall see. Um, cause probably be the case where I'm gonna select my size and then have to recalculate it for my gauge cause it was calling for like size 8 needles and when I was looking at how far 100 grams was getting, it was like, ooh, that's like, errand bulky. And, well that would make for a very nice wham bam thank you ma'am sort of sweater. Um, <laughs> I don't have any nor would I wear a bulky weight. <laughs> Dress like sweater, so. Maybe I'll go back to my original plan anyways. Who knows? I'll, like take some pictures of the book and call it good. So I think I'm just gonna wear the yarn and figure out where things go from there. <laughs> Life's an adventure sometimes. So is there anything else I wanted to talk about? I don't think so. That was a chill day. Um, so with that, I hope you guys have a lovely week and I look forward to talking to you guys next week. So take care guys. Bye bye.